What if every single step you take was quietly revealing the truth about your cholesterol levels? You see, most people think cholesterol is only something that you can see on a blood test. But the body has a way of showing you red flags when you're simply walking. And these signs are tied to poor circulation and artery health. And the first is calf pain or cramping after a short walk. That's known as intermittent claudication, which happens when plaque builds up narrows your arteries, starving the muscles of oxygen. Imagine trying to water your garden with a hose that's pinched. The pressure builds, the flow drops, and your calves scream for relief. And the second is numbness or tingling in the legs or feet while walking. You see, cholesterol stiffens the blood vessel walls and reduces nitric oxide. That's the chemical that tells blood vessels to relax and expand. So nerves and muscles are deprived of blood flow, like lights flickering when electricity is cut. And the third is slow healing sores or color changes in your feet and ankles. You see, without healthy circulation, your tissues don't get the oxygen and nutrients they need. So even tiny cuts become stubborn wounds, even as a plant wilts when the soil is too dry. And the fourth is cold feet or legs compared to the rest of your body because narrowed arteries act like clogged pipes, restricting warm blood from reaching the tissues. And the fifth is swelling or heaviness in the legs after short walks, often linked to poor venous return when cholesterol stiffens vessels and disrupts the one-way valves that normally push blood upward against gravity. And the sixth is fatigue or weakness in the legs because your muscles can't produce enough energy efficiently when the fuel lines are blocked, just like a car sputtering when the fuel filter is clogged. And the seventh is changes in your walking speed or stride. If you find yourself slowing down, shuffling, or stopping more often, it could be your body's way of rationalizing energy as circulation struggles to keep up. And the eighth is visible changes like shininess or loss of hair on your legs since your body will literally redirect blood away from non-essential tissues like hair follicles to preserve flow to your vital organs. Now, if you're still here, let me give you two bonus signs that most people don't realize are connected to high cholesterol and circulation. The ninth is frequent foot infections or toenail fungus because poor blood flow weakens the immune defenses in your extremities. And the tenth is erectile dysfunction in men while walking or exercising, which is one of the earliest warning signs of clogged arteries, since the same small vessels that supply blood to the legs also supply the reproductive organs. Remember, your body is always talking to you with every step you take. And these symptoms are not random. They're signals of reduced blood flow, endothelial dysfunction, and arterial narrowing caused by cholesterol plaque. But the good news is that you're not powerless. Daily habits can help reverse much of this damage if you do the right things and devote yourself to better health, like eating fiber-rich foods like oats, beans, and vegetables that help sweep cholesterol out of the bloodstream. Omega-3 fatty acids from fish, flax, or chia lowers inflammation and improves vessel elasticity. And garlic, turmeric, and green tea naturally support the endothelial health, the inner side of the lining of those arteries, and produce more nitric oxide. Even something as simple as 20 to 30 minutes of brisk walking a day, it boosts good HDL cholesterol. While lowering bad triglycerides, staying hydrated, cutting out processed oils, trans fats, replacing them with olive oil or avocado oil, reduces oxidative stress in the arteries as well. And magnesium and potassium rich foods like leafy greens, nuts, and bananas also relax those blood vessels and support healthy blood pressure as well as blood flow. And don't underestimate stress control. Deep breathing, meditation, and better sleep directly lowers cortisol levels, which otherwise worsens cholesterol and arterial stiffness. So, the next time you take a walk, listen closely. Your legs may be telling you exactly what's going on on the inside of your arteries. And if you've noticed any of these signs, share your experiences in the comments below, please. 
and this will let more people recognize these walking red flags before it's too late for them as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.